Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So welcome to another Adobe Premiere tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you some basic color correction and some simple color grading using the Adobe Lumetri Color Panel. So for those of you who are not familiar, Adobe CC actually has a great feature called the Lumetri Color Panel. We got this in CC 2015 as an update. Uh, if you don't see it, you can actually get to it by going to Window and then selecting Lumetri Color. It'll bring up this panel here, and there are a lot of different aspects of it, so I'll walk through them very quickly. You have Basic Correction, which is going to let you adjust your white balance, your temperature, a lot of the settings that you may be familiar with if you've ever edited a photo before using Adobe Lightroom. So you'll be able to control the temperature, the exposure, the contrast, highlights and shadows, a lot of those simple things. And you can see that it makes a real difference in your image, and this is some of the basic correction stuff. We actually have another panel called Creative, which is accurately named because it allows you to add different looks to your footage, and again, just depending on what you have going on, this could be interesting. I'll show you how that works momentarily. And of course we have the RGB curves. If you've ever used Photoshop, you might be familiar with how RGB curves work. We're going to be walking through that. And these are your basic panels for making your own color corrections and color grade. There are obviously other panels that we can get into. The color wheels I will address, but we really don't need the secondary color and we don't need the vignetting. Uh, so let's just keep things nice and simple. So you guys will notice here that I have an adjustment layer. Uh, I can go ahead and I can actually toggle this on and off and you can see that the color changes that I applied to it are there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this and I'll show you how to make an adjustment layer from scratch so that you can edit all of your footage and keep it consistent. So we're going to go over to our projects. We're going to go over and we're going to create a new adjustment layer. You can also do this in the menu system. I'll show you how to do that. You can just go to File, New, and select adjustment layer. We're going to drag that over to our timeline and I'm just going to extend this to a certain portion of our timeline that way I can show you guys before and after we make our changes. So what I want to do is select our adjustment layer. I want to make sure that I'm clicking on it and then click over to the Lumetri panel. So I have a lot of different options here. One of the first things I'm going to show you guys is if I have the adjustment layer selected, let's say I went to creative. I can choose one of these looks and I can automatically just give a new look to this footage. So I'm going through some of the Fuji looks right now and you can see the impact that that's having. Now a lot of these won't work right out of the box. They won't be what you need. Some of them are fantastic. Some of them could really work here and it just really depends on what you're trying to do and you can modify and adjust these as needed. So this is definitely a fast way that you can go ahead and do it and you can obviously just reduce the intensity if it's too much or you can make it more if you want but again they're there as presets that you can use and so that is a fast way to go ahead and do your color grading if you want to I am personally not a fan of just going straight with this however there are some that will look decent uh, such as this Fuji uh, Kodak 500D that we picked so you know that's not a bad look but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with none because we're going to create something from scratch. I just need to show you guys that real quick because it is a fast option for simple color grading. Let's do some basic color correction before we do anything. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in here so that we can uh, see the whites of my friend Malcolm's eyes here for this vlog. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select that with the white balance eyedropper. So that lets me go ahead and color correct this in terms of making sure I have accurate white balancing. So that's adjusted the temperature and the tint a little bit for me. Let's say that I want more contrast here and I want to make this very more punchy. I want to make this pop. Well, I can go ahead and adjust the contrast. Do that. I can adjust the shadows accordingly and move my blacks and my whites very similar to what I would do if I were in Adobe Lightroom. And so that's actually working out pretty well. So I like what that has going on. Now if I want to adjust the exposure, that can make a huge difference in the overall look of my footage. I think that that might be too dark, so let's just keep it right around here. And I think that looks really good. Let's go to Creative. I can make this a little bit sharper 
and that will take up some extra time in post-processing, but I definitely think that it could be worth it. Let's punch up the vibrance just a little bit, as well as the saturation. You can see how that's affecting the color tones of what we have here. And I do like that, so I think we're going to stick with this. If I wanted to add even more contrast or dynamic range to this, I can use what's called an S-curve. I can adjust the RGB curves, making something that looks very similar to an S. You can kind of see that here. I'm not going to take this too far because that will dramatically Im impact this and it might make it way too harsh. But I think that this actually looks pretty good. If I take this off by toggling, you can actually see the difference that it makes. And so without it, our image looks good, but it's a little flat. This makes it pop a little bit more. Finally, we have the color wheels. This is similar to your three-way color corrector. If we adjust this, this will change the overall look of our image. Right now, it's centered. But what if I decide that I want to cool this down dramatically? If I pull this in the shadows toward the blues, you can see how that's affecting our image. What if I adjust the midtones and pull them close to a magenta? You can see how that affects it as well. So here's what it looks like without. That looks just very warm, very natural. This has a more polished film look to it, so I do kind of like that. Then if I make just minor adjustments here in the highlights, there we go. So again, you can use that creatively as far as the color wheels, and it can add just this nice look to your footage. So I like what we have here. And the beauty of this is since it's on an adjustment layer, I can toggle this on and off. So it means that I don't have to worry about it, not to mention that if I decide to cut the footage anywhere, I can cut this into separate clips, and yet at the same time, I can drag this over, and now those clips have a consistent look to them. So you can see that now we have a very consistent look across all of our footage and we've applied simple color correction and simple color grading using the Lumetri color panel. The other thing we can do is if we go over into our effect controls, we can save this look. And we can save this as a preset and I'll just call it Cool V3 Lumetri. And we could make whatever notes we want just so that we understand what it is. And now that's available as a custom effect in our presets. So if I type this in, you can see that I have, you know, uh, Cool V2, Cool V3. And so I could apply this to any future footage that I shoot and be able to use that look again. So that's amazing. So now you understand how to create your own preset. You know how to manually use Lumetri Color to color correct and color grade your images and your video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've done a Premiere tutorial, but you can go ahead and check out more of these in the playlist. I have everything from basic video editing to how to add background music to your footage, so you'll definitely want to check that out and other future tutorials that I'll have coming out soon. If you still have questions about Adobe Premiere Pro, definitely leave those in the comment section. Also, let me know if there are other tutorials you'd like me to cover here on the channel. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.